What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Loki Noir, aka your girlfriend of YouTube, and I'm back with another video. This time it's gonna be a topic, questions that guys are too afraid to ask girls. And here I have... Vanessa V. Nuts on Instagram. I-T and underscore she keep the on Instagram. Y'all heard it. The first question of the video is going to be, do y'all think body count matter? It's a really, it's a dope standard though. Like, I, I, it's, it's expected for boys to have like a high body count. I feel like. It's not good or bad, bad, but as long as you, as long as you're clean, yeah, as long you as you know what you're doing, all I can ask for is you keep it real with me, you're safe, you ain't, you ain't got nothing on you, right? and you're good. Like Your past is your past. Say like that. That's interesting. I never heard a girl say that. I mean, because, all right, the double standard is always going to be there. So it's yeah. going to be like, okay, the girl got a hot body count, blah, 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 she ran through for seven and third. But then guys also be like, they want, you know, they want a bitch that know what they're doing. In order for a bitch to get there, they got they to be, they got to have some experience, right? But that's they ain't gonna get that one day. But I'm not saying run up your body count now. I'm yeah, not yeah. saying run that shit up and you know get your experience through hella niggas. Like no, like. But you could also get like some experience with one nigga. Exactly. Too. Like both times. It worked both ways. Yeah. But overall, I really feel like as long as you keep it in the stack, you ain't got nothing. Yeah, as long as you're being honest, you're not out here going crazy with your stuff. What if they did? Huh? What if they did for you? Like that matter? What you mean? Did, did what? You went crazy. All I'm gonna say is I'm, I'm gonna need, me, I'm need to know. Matter. I'm gonna need to know you're clean. You're good. As long as yeah, exactly. you're as long not, come out clean. You ain't got no crazy shit on you. Cause at the end of the day, I know what I'm doing. I know how I'm going about you. I don't play about. I don't play about my health. I'm not gonna go crazy and do none of that. So. So why why are girls up front with their feelings? Right, like, y'all will like the hell out of a nigga, right? And that nigga will never know. Y'all want a nigga to be so real with y'all. Y'all want a nigga to be so in tune with y'all. But y'all can't even tell the nigga how y'all feel about him. I still think I'm going to do it. But he not really telling me how he feeling. I don't want to be the one to step up and be like, I'm all in. Dudes, I feel like when a girl's all in, you you can tell. You, you can notice that shit. But with a dude, like, you don't know. So I'd rather them say something first and then I'll. Why is it that girls need the reassurance all the time, but when a guy low key need it, or like y'all can't provide that, y'all just sit back and just let shit play out. But sometimes that nigga, he needs to be reassured. Like, is she fucking with me? Is she not fucking with me? Yeah, I feel like the dude would know, but then again, it's like with girls, these dudes be making it seem like they all in whatever, but they still be doing whatever they doing in the background. So I don't know. From my experience, I love hard. I love hard as fuck. So I'm. <laughs> So I'm always blindsided to the bullshit. I really do be blindsided. I love really hard, but um, I'm upfront with my feelings. When I like a dude, I let them know. Like that's where the trouble starts. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very open with my feelings. Like every time I have something on my mind, I let them know. I'm, I'm very like, I'm very emotional. I'm very in tune with my emotions. So whatever I feel. I'm going to let you know, and you're going to, you're going to see it, you're gonna, and that's just how I am. See, I'm not, see, I'm not like very no, We need more hugs in the world. We don't need that many of you. That's what I'm saying. Like, you gonna know based on how I'm moving, whatever. Like, exactly. But if they need, God can't read that. You have some surface level. You like, particularly you, like you, surface you, level you, people who you, don't know how to read that. Okay, so like, what you want to say, like? No, it's I'm way, saying, it's I'm way. You can really tell a nigga right. that you want more from him without just going at his neck or just on top of his shit or nagging him the whole time. All right, so that brings me to the next question. What's y'all stigma behind toxic niggas and hood niggas? Why, why, why does that type of nigga attract you? Why is it something you can't get away from? It's not toxic. It's not necessarily toxic food that we be attracted to. It just so happens that they are toxic and it just so happens that... So you toxic. I'm not you gotta know toxic to be around toxic. I'm not gonna know. Okay, so so you can know toxic just based off the environment. What was the question again? Yeah. But to know how to put up with toxic and that be the only thing that you attract. I feel like a lot of it has to do with social media. But in my case, that's just the environment I grew up in. That's what I know. Like how she said, like she knows what she wants to do because what she grew up on. I grew up on that. Like that was my environment. So that's what I know. So do you like that environment? I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> 
But I'm not saying toxic, I'm saying it hood, but like toxic, you know, I, I'd rather push that to the so side. What's the but my hood what makes a hood nigga and what makes a toxic nigga? A toxic nigga is a nigga who just go and dog you, basically. I mean, you you know, you any know. Any nigga can be a toxic any, nigga. Yeah, any nigga can be toxic. It doesn't mean like a hood nigga toxic, but, but hood nigga, I mean, you know. I accept and not all hood niggas are toxic. I accept yeah, not hood niggas. Yeah, you toxic. I accept it. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like I feel like toxic depends on the person, what the person can handle, what the person cannot handle. When it comes to dealing with a toxic person, because someone could be toxic to me, but another person, they don't find it to be toxic at all. How would y'all feel if a guy asked y'all to be friends with benefits? I don't fuck with that. Why not? I'm a lover girl. I love hard as fuck. Soon as I give my body up to somebody, I feel like I'm entitled to, you know, I'm, I'm more entitled to other things now. I feel as if I can't just, I can't fuck you and then just go about like, I just can't go about like we friends and you you fucking with other people and I'm fucking with other people and we come fuck with each other and da 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 we still on some friendly shit. Like, cause usually shit like that turn into situation shit. It turns into, oh now we laying up, now I'm sleeping over. Now we fucking, I'm going to sleep with you, I'm waking up to you, I'm going home, we doing the same thing over and over again. Eventually, you're going to catch feelings, like, well, that's yeah, at that point, at that point, it should be a conversation. And so you don't think it's possible for a guy to grab and just have sex and just hit Yeah, I'm pretty sure, sure it is possible, but not for me. That? I'm talking about, like, like, like it, it just depends on the person, like me. Yeah, it depends on the person. Me, I could do the friends with benefits, but I have to initiate it. The nigga can't initiate it. I have to. That's yeah. so selfish. It, it, okay, it's not necessarily selfish, but it's like this. If I know the dude not going to take me serious at the end of the day, why am I going to sit here and try to play your game and be like, okay, you doing all this, but at the end of the day, you still doing you. So, so let's just be friends with So if take you serious, why aren't you recognizing your own work? It just, okay. In the situation, why are you settling for just the body? That was good, that was good. Because then he's bas it's basically like, why fuck with him? He's still winning. Yeah, like, why fuck with him? I mean, because it's, what if you don't want a relationship? So you gonna use him for his dick? Isn't he using me for my pussy? But he let that be known. Okay, and I just said I'm gonna initiate it, right? But at the end of the day, cause that's, that's wrong. But it's like, the thing is you grown, you feel me? You grown, you gonna do what you do. If you don't wanna be in a relationship, cool. And if this person just comes along, and things happen and things happen, if y'all end up being friends with benefits, and that's just what it is. I mean, I'm not judging nobody if they gonna have friends with benefits or not. If that's what you prefer, then that's what you prefer. Y'all give us some real ass answers, bro. Cause most girls are not understanding. They gonna like, watch me fuck is my dick and they still do whatever the fuck they wanna do. So would y'all talk to somebody that y'all friend talk to? No. Or had sex with? I never, 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 I why am I gonna go so, what if one of y'all like y'all was just genuine friends, but one person like when they had sex, it was on some like one time, meant nothing, drunk, and then later on down that road in life, like the friendship just was like led to that. Led to relationship. Yeah, or sex. That when I mean, I, that's honestly, I know a situation that happened like that, and they're still friends to this day and nothing came between them. I feel like that's different though, because you're saying over time, I'm thinking like, okay, let's say she go talk to somebody, pass up to that person. A couple months later, I'm talking to that person. Oh, that's a big no, no, you don't do stuff like that. If you're saying over time, like, okay, we done graduated college and we just happened to link up again and things happen, that's that's later, that's like after college. It's like, okay, all that shit in the past, but at the end of the day, it's still kind of weird. The size matter. I ain't gonna catch to you. I don't like big, big things. <laughs> I don't like Hey, big so all these little big niggas, y'all gotta stop. Because nobody, I've never heard that shit. I've okay, okay, I'm not, okay, no, like no, 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 but I'm gonna keep it real, I'm gonna keep it sad. It's a video, they want the real answer, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it how, like it is, from my perspective. I don't like, like, I don't like, you know, big things. Like, I don't feel like... I don't know why I'm calling it that. Okay, but you need to clarify on big. Fellas, y'all okay. take notes because y'all be at Helena when y'all big too. Okay, so big. I agree. Too big is just not, it's not comfortable. Like, it's, that's I'm not, gonna it's not, it's not, it's not comfortable. It's not. And it's, it, honestly, but that just, I feel like big. that also depends on the female. But like, in the arts, like, it does. With us. But I ain't Because some about, females, because some females, I mean, well, some women, they really, you know, they really like, they, they rather you have. And like I'm talking, when, when I'm talking about like, like they don't talk about like a third, like a, literally a third leg, like 
No, see, I like to keep, like, I like, you know, I'm comfortable with six, seven, six, seven, yeah. Eight, 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 cool, too. I don't know, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all did man with children? No, no. No, no, sir. Um, personally, I feel like I want, basically for the simple fact, I want your first child to be, you know, my first child. I want us to have our first child together. I don't want, it may sound selfish, like, I don't know. No, it doesn't sound selfish. That's just, right. That's the right thing. That's just my, that's just what I want. That's how it's supposed to be. Y'all believe in soul ties? I mean, I look at soul ties as like similar to, I mean, attach, attachment issues. Yeah. Like, you have some sort of attachment issues. Oh, I see this. Yeah. I don't really think it's a, attachment issues. Now there's attach, attachment issues and then there's soul ties where you're always going to be like, that person was the person. No other person's going to compare you to them. Like, but in that when you look at it, that's attached. When you look at the definition of attached, what is it? You're attached to what? You're attached. That doesn't really mean attachment issues. I mean, soul ties, of course, you're going to be attached. That's your soul tie. Y'all got soul ties for somebody? Is a car a necessity for the guy? A car? Yeah, him having a car. To be honest, I've never met with a guy that didn't have a car, so... And I can't drive, so... So if he can provide all the... That's sad. It's if he truth. If he can provide all the rides without having a car, like... You that's still so much of a How would he... Yeah, I would not want but that. But he got it, though. Yeah, but... If you got it, where you got a car? Yeah. Maybe he got an accident and he's saving up for his dream car. Oh, well, that's different. If he just don't got a car, and he got it like that, you obviously don't got it like that. Right. You know, like something like you get in an accident, your insurance don't, don't pay okay, for another right, car. Right. That's something like that's a different situation. You decide I, to stay in the whole car for a while. Is that like a logical, like, okay, I might be able to close on the step, but he do got a plane, okay. he had a car. I mean, a person, a person and that on top of that, it is, you know, other factors to a person. You know, yeah, like, like, I'm not going to look at a person and be like, oh, they don't have a car, I'm not fucking that. So. How do y'all, as female, well, not even as females, as y'all self shoot y'all shot? So I don't, I don't see you liking it first. I don't shoot my shots. I shoot my shot. I'm kind of well, how shot. you shoot your shot, sis? <laughs> I'm kind of just straight to it. I mean, I'm the type of going your DMs, or I'll walk up to you. First, I react to stuff, I'm and then, my like, age, based on their response, it's like, it would depend, like, what I do next. Or I'll be like, text my phone, and I'll send my number. Wow. <laughs> I'm straight to it. Balls. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm straight to it. That's um, what I'm saying. Like, if I'm interested, so I'm making you reject the guy? If it's face to face, you gonna know that you got rejected by me based on my facial expression. Mm -mm. And I, I love doing that. I love saying, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. And then through DM, I mean, I'm simply not gonna answer. I'm just gonna like your message. That's fucked up. You can't even say, just say no. How they come my DMs is not a no type of thing. It's like you're beautiful as fuck. So you bougie. You can't. You don't like. I'll say. I'll say thank, say thank you. I'll say thank you. But you have to realize once you say thank you, they keep coming back. So at that point, now that you keep coming back, I'm going to like your message now it's because now. Like, because you're not saying no. You're beautiful, so you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't get the <laughs> so do height matter? Yes. You can't be as short as me. I'm five two. There's no way you should be as short as me. So what's the the I average like height for you to fuck with? Um, I like my dudes tall, so. Like, the shortest I'll go is like 5'7". I like older guys and older guys. I like older guys. And I, I prefer older guys. Why you say that? You can't be younger than 19. Alright, so why y'all think female relationships, like friendships and stuff, fall off mm -hmm. or don't last? Especially in college. Not to sound cocky or anything, but jealousy is a real thing. You know, the simple, basic, why are you talking shit behind my why are you telling my business? That's what I'm saying. Like jealousy, that. jealousy Why has a lot to do with it. Um, that fake shit. Always on some slimy shit, stealing from me or some shit like that. Y'all be like, like, women like, should, we're like just wearing each other clothes. Yeah, like, a, yeah, like, you each other clothes. Like, that just depends on like, if, if it's like a sleepover, boom, yeah, throw this on. Or like, let's say like you need a fit. Or you needed a jacket like to you match your pants. Yeah, if you needed a, not like a whole entire, like a whole entire out drop from no. head to toe. No. <laughs> but if you needed a, a jacket, like, yeah, a little shirt. To throw on with the fit, then it's nice. How would y'all feel if a guy didn't come for a date? If he asked to take me on a date and he don't and, pay. and makes me, tries to make me pay, mm -hmm. 
But if it's like a mutual thing, I will literally be so petty. We are washing dishes in the back because you got me fucked up. No, you'll you'll be the one washing dishes. Because you're not gonna ask me to go on a date and then because what are you talking about? And it, and uh, and it's not like I can't pay for it. Yeah, Obviously, I can, but. The principle of it is, why would you ask to take me on a date and expect me to pay for it? Exactly. Now, if I asked, you know, if I asked you on a date, if I was like, look, I want to take you here, I want to go here, then obviously I'm initiating the date. Obviously, okay. I pay for it. Yeah. But if you come out and ask me, oh yeah, I want to take you here, I want to go here, and we go, and the, the bill fucking comes, and you fuck around and look at me, we're gonna be looking at each other. Yeah. But even if they. If it's like a mutual thing, like we both, like it wasn't like, oh, I asked you, he didn't ask me, it was like, oh, let's just go to this place, like on a exactly. mutual thing, then, no, I don't It care. doesn't matter who, well, it's, it's like, it's like, whatever, I'll pay my own tab, you can pay me if you want to, like, I'm not going to expect you to do that. Right. And even on the first day, I'm not really going to expect you, but if you don't, it's no deal. So money, does money matter in a relationship? Or not even a relationship, does money matter when y'all taking the guy into consideration of whether you're going to fuck with him or not? Say yes. Like, as long as you... Holding yourself up, you paying your bills, you got the money to get through and do it. Like you I got your money, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, like I don't want no nigga basically living coming off to me, me coming off me. of me, like oh, like doing my right. things, get this and this, that, and the third, mm -hmm. like nitpicking, like yeah, have some money coming in for yourself, just like how I'm having. Money yeah, exactly. Like you don't talk real shit. That don't mean you gotta have all this money be spoiled for you. As long as you, you know, take care of yourself, then you're cool. So what's five turn ons and turn offs? Um, I like when a nigga step, when they yes. know what they're talking about. Like when, when, when they, you know, they know what they're doing. They know how to, they know what the, they know. Ba they basically know what they're doing to get you to fuck with them. You know, they say what they need to say. They do what they need to do by action. Yeah, and actions, and, actions, not that same yeah. shit. Say, you know, saying and doing the action. Period. Yeah, hold up to their words. Yeah, looks. Yes, looks. looks. You're so well kept. So You're well kept. You know how honestly, you looks matter or how do you matter? Hygiene, oh. how you hold hygiene. yourself. Because I don't know me, I kind of like being in my hygiene. Hygiene is big. I don't like pretty dudes. A nice smile. I love that shit. Like you're very motivated in what you want to do. Like you're just very like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get to it, and I'm gonna just start. Intelligence. I want to have a, like someone who I can have an intellectual conversation with, and there's like no dull moments. Like. We could talk about some weird shit. Not a simple minded person. And yeah. if it doesn't look like some jewelry, I oh, love that. Very respectful. Yeah. Having respect, being respectful. Okay, three turn offs. Three turn offs. Um, you're fucking disrespectful. Simple minded. And um what you're you're fucking you you fucking stink. You're dirty. You're dirty. <laughs> That's it. Huh? Um, another turn off. I don't like a nigga that's way too cocky. Oh my Calm god, down. I hate that. Simmer mm -hmm. the fuck down. Like, who Remember who the fuck, who fuck you are, and that's that. Big question. Y'all single? Yes. Yeah. Why y'all think I'm single? What do you mean why I think I'm single? I am single. I see. Next question. <laughs> Personally, choose to be single because I just feel like I'm not emotionally available. I'm not up to up to par to be in a relationship. I, I don't have myself all the way together to be going into a relationship with somebody. So do you expect people to like, fuck with somebody and you know you don't want to be with them? Like, how would you feel if your feelings that involved? And like, you told them you didn't want to be in a relationship, but they got with somebody else. Well, you're saying like if I ended up catching feelings and they were like messing yeah. around? I mean, yeah. But you, you never validated that you were in a relationship or that your shit changed. I mean, no, that doesn't necessarily mean you want to be in a relationship. Like, I know me, like, when I catch feelings, of course, like, I want that for me and only me. But that doesn't necessarily mean I want to be tied down in a relationship because I just feel like I just can't do that right now. So if a situation like that were to happen, I feel like I would just kind of become distant and, like, try to turn on my feelings and make the situation smaller than what it is. If you haven't already liked us, uh, comment, subscribe, send it to your friends, do all that. Uh, so, follow me on Instagram, underscore she cute though. Me nuts underscore. And y'all already know I'm Lil Keynard, aka your girl's favorite YouTuber. Shout out to Love War Original for the merch. The shit fire as fuck. Da da da. -da.